Hi, my name is Neil Simons. Thank you for choosing Diamond Mowers. Whether your new mower is a flail or a rotary, this video will give you some basic operating information, including maintenance, inspection, and safety. This video is not intended to be a substitute, nor does it cover all of the information found in your operator's manual. Before you take your mower out for the first time, please read and understand the manual in its entirety. It is your responsibility to understand the potential hazards of operating Diamond Mower's equipment. If you have any questions regarding any of Diamond Mower's products, don't hesitate to contact us. Tractors and mowers are dangerous tools and can be deadly if not respected and cared for. Always be aware of your surroundings and pay close attention to warning decals on the mower and in the tractor. Every operator must be trained on the equipment and understand its intended use before operating. Never operate any heavy machinery under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Always wear personal protective equipment such as safety glasses, steel-toed work boots, and snug-fitting clothing. Be cautious of burns near hydraulic components and fittings. Before the day's operation, conduct a walk-around inspection of the equipment. Look for loose bolts on the mower and tractor, paying close attention to mainframe bolts, spindle bolts, and lug nuts. The bolts should have a mark allowing you to easily tell if something has come loose. If the marks don't line up, don't operate the mower until it is retightened. Never walk under booms or heads that are supported only by hydraulics. Valves and hoses can fail and crush whatever is underneath. Always set heads on the ground or place in the travel rest and engage travel locks. Check your shields and covers for damage. Replace them if they're damaged or missing. Inspect hoses and tubes for wear and uh, replace any that are damaged or leaking. Never continue to operate a mower with a hydraulic leak as the pump and other components could be damaged due to lack of oil or that oil could find its way to an ignition source and start a fire. Check the hydraulic oil level. With the oil cold, the level should be in the center of the gauge. Make sure the ball valve at the bottom of the tank is open and the zip tie is still present. The zip tie prevents branches or other debris from accidentally closing the valve. Check the entire unit for cracks or other damage and repair prior to operating. Inspect your blades for cracks or other wear. A broken blade has the potential to be thrown several hundred feet and could cause serious damage. Always replace your blades in complete sets with new bolts and other hardware when damage is found or the blade is worn down to half of its original width. Check rotary blade bolts for the roll pin. If it's present, the bolt is still tight. Ensure the lights, flashers, or beacon and slow moving vehicle signs are functional and present on the tractor and the windows are clean. Follow all other maintenance or safety instructions that are included in the tractor's operation manual. A diamond mower's unit can be mounted to many makes and models of tractors and each one is different. Get to know your tractor and follow all the safety rules as stated in the tractor's operator manual. When traveling to the job site, place the mower in transport position. Mid-mount attachments fold straight up, rear cradle booms sit on their hook, and side fold booms do exactly that, fold to the side. Before cutting, scout the area. Remove any trash that might get caught up or thrown from the head and mark anything too large to move. And finally, never mow with people around. An unseen piece of trash or rock can be picked up and thrown a great distance, 300 feet or more. Pay attention to overhead wires, rough or steep terrain, and any other hazards that may cause a safety concern. Keep far away from wires and junction boxes to avoid electrocution or other damage. Boom mowers will either use a joystick or cable controls. A joystick is a much more common option. If you have a cable control unit, review your operator's manual to learn more about operation. Moving the joystick forward and back controls the primary boom. This raises or lowers the entire boom arm. Moving the joystick from side to side moves a secondary or second part of the boom in and out. The roller closest to the steering wheel controls the deck roll. Up will roll the uh, outside of the deck up down rolls it down, and the outside roller swings the boom forward and back. 
If your boom has a fifth function, such as a hydraulic trap door, deck rotator, or telescoping secondary, that function may be hooked into one of the tractor's remotes or controlled by the two buttons right here. With any rotary head, make sure to carry it above the ground. At no time should you drag the skid shoes on the ground, as this will increase the fuel consumption because of the extra drag, uh, increases the potential to pick up and throw rocks and other objects, and will quickly wear out skid shoes. Flail mowers can ride on their ground rollers. Once you have the mower positioned and are ready to turn it on, throttle up about halfway and engage the mower switch. Once it has started, throttle the, up to uh, 21 to 2200 RPM and maintain a constant engine speed. Over revving the mower could cause damage and running the engine too slowly will not provide a quality cut. Choose an appropriate ground speed for the conditions you're cutting. Start out in the slowest gear and then speed up as you're able. Remember, mowing is not a race. Mowing too quickly through thick material will result in a very poor finished product. If you're not cutting well, slow down. And thick grass or brush, slow down or consider making two passes, one high and one lower. If you encounter a strong vibration, there's possibility that trash, wire, or other debris is wrapped around the cutter or you have broken a blade. Shut the mower off, raise and secure the head, turn off the tractor, and inspect the mower. Always allow the blades to stop turning before exiting the cab. Never approach the mower with the tractor or blades still running. Some diamond mowers units are equipped with a cooling fan for the hydraulic system. If your mower has a cooling fan, you can reverse the direction of the airflow to easily blow dirt and grass out of the cooler. Periodically flip this switch into reverse for 10 to 15 seconds to blow it away. Frequently, operating on a slope is necessary. It is not recommended to operate on a slope greater than 5%, but at any time, if you don't feel stable, lower the attachment close to the ground, bring the boom closer to the tractor, and return to a more level area. That last bit of brush or grass to cut is not worth rolling over the tractor or hurting yourself. It's important when using a boom mower that you keep the blades facing away from the cab. If you see the blades, there's a the potential for the blades to throw something at you. Whenever using a rotary mower, don't mow in reverse or push down on material. This is called pancaking and damage to the mower can occur. When finishing up for the day, clean off all grass and debris and completely grease the unit with a number two lithium grease. This is the best time to grease as all the bearings are warm and the grease will flow into all the nooks and crannies. This will also push out any moisture that may have found its way into the bearings. There are lubrication points at the end of each cylinder and at all the pivot points. The pump drive shaft and actuator should be greased once a week and the rotary spindle should be greased every 500 hours or once a year. While cleaning and greasing, check over the unit for cracks, hydraulic leaks, or other problems. Report any issues. When parking, set all decks on the ground or place in the travel rest to avoid falling or settling. This has been a quick overview of inspection, operation, and maintenance of your Diamond Mower's boom mower. If you have any questions about any Diamond Mower's product, don't hesitate to call or visit diamondmowers.com. Diamond Mowers, where you can demand brilliance.